everybody! Today I'm here with another tutorial on this D and D bracelet. This bracelet, well, can't talk today. This bracelet was created by the Loom Guy on Instagram. So let me bring up his profile real quick on my phone. So here it is, and he's got lots of lots of really cool little edits and lots of cool bracelets. Like, well, he's got a happy banana spinal cord. Kind of some really cool stuff. Definitely should go check out his profile. There's my picture of this bracelet. And so I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet today. This bracelet is made on one loom and this is actually in the wrong configuration. So that's how you pop out a bar pin. It needs to be in the parallel configuration. I'm sorry I forgot to do that before this video started. It needs to be in the parallel configuration all bar pins aligned and I'll show you how to make this bracelet it's super cool and today I will be using the fuchsia bands for this neon blue right here and uh, neon green for the dark deep purple whatever it's called so you're also going to need a hook and a c-clip and you might need some bands for an extension if you're only using one loom long you can always make it more than that if you have more than one loom so let's get started First you're going to want to take the bands that will be the single ones on the outside. So for that I'm going to be using fuchsia. From the first center pin you're just going to go straight up. Then take more bands. You're using single bands for this step. So you're going to go up and to the outside. So from the second middle peg up to the third left. From the second middle peg up to the third right. Then from the third left and the third right you're going to go into the fifth center and from both sides. So you're just creating a diamond. So D and D, double diamond or diamond and diamond. I don't even know. But you can think of it however you would like. So from that peg you just went in, go back out and up to the left and this band. Go up to the right. Then down, well not down, but into the center and into the center. So just repeat this process all the way up your loom. This is a piece of a broken band. That's why I have a trash can. I break so many bands. Okay, so go back out, go back out, go back in, and back in. Alright, this is a pretty simple process and it's a really cool bracelet. So, I am going to continue with the rest of this down my loom. I'm only using one loom length long just for time saving purposes. Once you get to this second to last peg on the center, all you're going to do is go straight again on the center just like you did in the beginning. So straight at the beginning, straight at the end. Now we're going to be taking our next color for me, that's the neon green, taking two bands at a time for this part, two bands, go from the first center peg up and out to the second left and to the second right. Make sure you're taking two bands at a time and try not to twist them. Take two more bands and go in to the center two more bands and go into the center. So as you'll see this will be creating an offset diamond pattern down your loom and this will be two bands rather than one band with the fuchsia. So then from that same peg just go out and the pegs will get crowded just so you know and go in. That one's pre-broken and go in. So you're just doing the same exact thing you did with the fuchsia, but with two bands and in an offset pattern with a different color. And if you want to use the same color you can, I guess, I would just recommend using at least two. And try not to twist your bands, like have them overlapped. It makes for a nicer look. I know I say that a lot, but it really does. So 
Sorry if my hands get in the way. I know I say that a lot too. My hands get in the way sometimes when I'm trying to place my bands or loop them. And your last set will go in to the center peg that's up here. Like that. And so now it's time to place your cap band. So take a single band of your extension color or whatever color you want and turn your loom around. And just place a cap band right here on the last peg. Like that. I know that was kind of like off camera and stuff. But you're just placing a simple cap band here. Now it's time to start looping. So looping this bracelet is super simple. It's very cool though. So go underneath the cap band, grab the top two bands that go to the same peg, and loop them out to that peg. Go back underneath the cap band, grab the next two bands, and loop them out to their peg. Then, let me put this down. Go inside of these, actually I'll lift this up, go inside these, the only two bands that should be there will be your greens, and you'll just bring them into the center, and again, bring them into the center. You're going to keep doing this with your green all the way up your loom, so go underneath all these bands, and it can be kind of difficult, but make sure you are grabbing the correct bands, and pull them over to themselves, go back under, grab the other two bands, and pull them over to themselves. Continue looping your green all the way down your loom, and then I will show you how to loop the fuchsia bands. Oops. Oh no, catastrophe. The one second I stop talking, everything seems to, I guess, not fall apart, but get messed up. And that band came off, and I know it came off. So, grab just the top two bands, I'm trying to grab just the top two bands, so I feel like I'm grabbing all three, what the heck. Alright, just grab the top two, pull them over to themselves, and I don't like how it's twisted, but that's okay. So, now I'm going to pull this one over, but I'm also going to go underneath, so I can... It's so hard because the bands are thick. I'm trying to grab that band. No! Oh my goodness. I really wish I didn't have so many issues. I never have issues like this. Well, I hardly ever have issues like this. Okay, get on. Okay. Loop it to itself. That center peg is going to be one of the most difficult pegs to deal with your bands because it will just not work out well if you grab more than two bands. As you can see, it took me a while to fix it. Good news is I'm almost done with the green. Oops, that's only one. That's like three. Can't really tell how many bands I'm grabbing. I just have to do it like by feel. Pull those up. Pull those up. Okay. So, I finally looped all of my green bands with a little bit of trouble, but I definitely got it at the end, so it's okay. So go back to the beginning of your loom, go underneath this green cap band that's really stretched out, grab the fuchsia, and pull it up. Now, it will be super, super loose, so once you pull it up and let it go, just kind of hold on to that band. Go underneath the green, grab the top band, and see, I accidentally let that go, and I don't... Don't want to let that go. Make sure it's looped. Go underneath and grab the top fuchsia band. 
pull it over to itself, and then you can let go of this band that you just looped up because it's looped and it's going to stay. Then loop that one. And if you want, just take off this cap band so it doesn't stress it out so much. And then just grab the fuchsia and bring it to the center. Grab the other fuchsia and bring it to the center. So you're going to do the same thing you did with the green, however, you're only going to be grabbing the single band because we play single bands here. And you're just going to loop it because and it's going to be offset from the other triangles. And here I go talking and talking and talking again. I'm just going to continue looping this till I reach the end of my loom. And this one will not be as difficult as the green, I promise. And then once you get here, you're just going to loop that last single band straight up. Oops. Straight up. <laughs> okay. So then, you can either take it off from the bottom of your loom, or from the sides, or however you want to do it. I'm going to pull my bands. Whoa. That was really loud. Sorry. Um, pull your bands off the sides. I would recommend doing that. I find it easiest. so that you just have like the single chain left and it's a lot easier to pull off. And if you want to pull it off from the bottom, you can. I would I, I kind of find it easier to pull off from the bottom just because I do. And then once you get to that last peg, take an extension collar band because I know you can't clip all of this. Stick it through grab that band on your hook pull it through hook it back on and kind of use the bracelet not to the band to pull it off so that's what my bracelet looks like I'm really pleased with how it turned out even though I did mess up at one point but that's it's it's okay it's part of life I guess well I don't guess I know it's part of life anyway Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow the Loom Guy on Instagram. And I will hopefully have more videos up soon. And I hope I'll see you next time.